Hello and welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can leverage different closed captions or really live captions in a Google Meet. So for the past few years, Google has had closed captions in their Google Meet. You have to basically set up and join your Meet like you would like usual, and there's a closed caption setting. But now they have added the ability to have your captions automatically translated into several different languages. So I'm just gonna go through my normal process here and pretend like I'm on this Google Meet. And here we are, and I'm gonna turn that off so you don't see me on here twice. So I'm on my Google Meet, have all my usual info there. And what I'm going to do is where it says closed captions, I can turn it on. It just gives me a little alert here and they start populating on the screen and I have all of that good stuff. Can turn it back off by just clicking it again. So I have to turn on my captions first and it gives me a little alert and it tells me that English is what the captions are in. But what I'm going to do here is I'm going to keep the language that's spoken to my meeting is English. So basically the only translation feature that's available right now is if I'm speaking in English, it can translate the captions into another language. If I'm speaking Spanish, it cannot translate the captions into another language as needed. That'll be something that's coming down the pipeline, but not quite there yet. So I turned on my captions, I'm good to go. I'll click this little settings button over here, or technically I could click this little three dot more options button. But whenever I click my settings menu here, I have my captions toggled on, we already did that. The language of my meeting, if I change it to something else, then the closed captions will not work anymore. So I'm gonna leave that in English. And then right here is where I can turn on my closed captions to another language. So if I toggle this, I can turn on my captions to another language of my preference. So we have English, French, German, Portuguese, Brazilian Portuguese specifically with that dialect, and then Spanish. And they also say the Spanish here is namely um, from Mexico's influence, all right? So if I pick one, select it, and then if I go back over here, it tells me that my translated captions have been turned on. So as I'm speaking here, I'm speaking in English, but my captions are in another language. And I see this little alert off to the side here and I can change those options as I need to. So that is a really helpful option to show your students if they are still learning how to speak English or if they speak another language at home, if we have an e-learning day, it's helpful for them to have that flexibility and those options. It's also great if maybe you're having parent-teacher conferences or you're speaking with family members and there are some language options that are provided there for them as well. So it's a more inclusive environment. I hope you find this helpful. And if you have questions, please let us know. Thank you.